and it itself comes apart just as the same way as the, the K2 version does so again will fit into the boot of pretty much any car um, you don't need an adapted car to put the, the, the chair in so you can if you wanted to go out to, up to the pub or, or to a restaurant you can literally call, call a cab and it would fit into that cab no problem um, the, the only real difference between the K2 and the power chair is a small battery pack that, that clips underneath the actual seat itself the actual um, motors for the power chair are actually in the wheels themselves and that carries most of the weight so once you've taken the wheels off the chair again is only marginally heavier than a K2 easy enough for someone to lift into a car themselves. Given the size of it, it packs down to the size of the actual carbon fibre seat itself, um, which is very small. The, the, the rear wheel folds in flush at the back of the chair, um, the quick release for the main wheels that come off at the front. Um, so it's, it's very light to move, only, only nine kilos because it's all carbon fibre. It will pack into the boot of any, any car. You're not limited to, to an adapted car to, to go out in the chair. You can literally put it into the boot of pretty much any car.
I can see the difference now. I can see they're a little bit more splayed. Right. Yeah. Walking around with the um, the aid of crutches, but um, about six seven years ago now, things started getting a little bit difficult for walking longer distances, um, and just generally getting out on rougher ground and things like that. And I thought it'd be safer to bet to use a chair, but trying to find a wheelchair that was up to like being used on rougher ground as well as had the practicality of being used every day around an office or um, around a shopping centre or you know even indoors if necessary. Um, the, the Trek Kinetic K2 was the only manual chair that I found that actually fitted the bill for um, every area of my life that I wanted to, to use it in. One of the big differences between a standard wheelchair and the Trek Kinetic chair is um, the realms of possibility as to where you can go and what you can do in it. Um, a standard chair will get you out to certain places, um, it might take you out in the woods but you wouldn't necessarily have the confidence to go there on your own. With a Trek Kinetic chair it gives you that confidence, it inspires you to go off and, and, and visit more remote places, um, go on terrain that so you wouldn't normally even think about going. One of the things that made me laugh when I first got the chair is going through the local park. You'd normally go along the tarmac, um, the pathway, and if someone was walking towards you they'd have to walk on the grass around you to get out of your way. With the Trek Kinetic it's the other way around now. You would go down the path um, and you'd go on the grass to get out of the way of someone walking towards you. One of the first questions people always ask me is about curbs. How do you get up and down curbs? Getting down curbs, same as any other chair, you just drop off them. Um, gas shock absorber on the back of the chair takes out most of the thumps and the bumps from there. Getting up curbs is um, a point you need to master yourself. Everyone's got their own different technique. Myself, um, standard curb, you know, three or four inches, you just tip the chair back so you, the casters are way off the ground, just charge the curb. If you wanted to go up something slightly higher, you know, five, six and more inches, you can actually turn the chair backwards and back up to the curb. If you tip forward and raise the rear caster, you can roll, roll up the curb that way. Given the size of it, it, it packs down to the size of the actual carbon fibre seat itself. Um, which is very small, the, the, the rear wheel folds in flush with the back of the chair and um, the quick release for the main wheels that come off at the front um, so it's, it's very light to move, only, only 9 kilos because it's all carbon fibre it will pack into the boot of any, any car, you're not limited to, to an adapted car to, to go out in the chair you can literally put it into the boot of pretty much any car The chair itself, once it's assembled and you're sitting in it, it's very comfortable. You can sit in it all day, no problem. Um, there's various cushions that you can get all cut to fit the chair, whether it be a foam um, gel or Rojo cushion, whichever cushion you may or may not need. To recline the chair, there's a little switch on the back of it and the whole chair actually tips backwards. 
Um, so that's either a comfort feature when you're sitting having a beer on a nice hot day watching the cricket, or um, for a safety feature if you're racing downhill through the woods. But one of the other benefits of the chair is, is the actual footrest with the small casters on, on the either side of the footrest. Um, it's great if you ever drop something on the floor, you can with a little bit of practice actually lean forward, the whole chair will tip forward, however the casters on the front, the chair shouldn't tip any further forward than the casters will allow it to. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to, it takes a bit of practice, but you won't roll out of it once you've had that practice. It means you can touch the floor all the way around the front of the chair and pick anything up. Another benefit of the chair is the fact that um, you can reverse in it and as fast as you like as well. With the rear caster there, it, you can just go and go and go. You're not going to um, you know, tip backwards if you hit any ruts or anything like that because that rear caster will stop you tipping out backwards. The GTE version um, of the Trek Kinetic Chair it, again is a, a major step forward when it comes to power chairs. Um, it itself comes apart just as the same way as the, the K2 version does, so again will fit into the boot of pretty much any car. Um, you don't need an adapted car to put the, the, the chair in, so you can if you wanted to go out to, up to the pub or, or to a restaurant, you can literally call, call a cab and it would fit into that cab, no problem. Um, the, the only real difference between the K2 and the power chair is a small battery pack that, that clips underneath the actual seat itself. The actual um, motors for the power chair are actually in the wheels themselves and that carries most of the weight, so once you've taken the wheels off, the chair again is only marginally heavier than a K2 easy enough for someone to lift into a car themselves. With the GTE, the battery uh, would last up to five hours on a three hour charge. Um, that obviously depends on the, the weight of the user and the kind of terrain you're going up. But one of the, the brilliant things about the, the chair is that you can disengage the, the, the motors in the wheels. So if the battery was running low, someone was there to, to help you on to give you a push, um, or you wanted to push yourself, you can disengage the motor and, and, and the, put the chair in free wheel mode. Using the Trek Kinetic Chair has opened up a lot of doors to me. It's, uh, it's very, very different to, uh, in where you can go and what you can do than a standard wheelchair. Um, the chair travels well. I've, I've travelled around Kenya, northern India. We spent a lot of time in the Lake District um, doing a lot of walks along the Cumbria Way and things like that. Um, spent a lot of time in the New Forest as well. Um, it's, the, the chair, the versatility of the chair is amazing. You can go and do a great big long walk like that, and it's, it's the same as a walk of wiping the boots off. You just wipe your wheels off and you're straight in the pub for a nice, well earned pint after a long hike. I've been using the Trek Kinetic for the last six years. It's made such a big difference to my life as to what I can do as opposed to what I can't do in a wheelchair. Um, I'd really highly recommend it to anybody. When I think about Freezer Biscuit, the image that um, immediately comes to mind, Biscuit is my wheelchair, Biscuit. I think lots of people, Biscuit, would think of wheelchairs, Biscuit, um, negatively and see them as a restriction, Biscuit or a limit. Biscuit, hedgehog, but um, I don't.
my wheelchair and my ticks are not the thing that disable me. Biscuit, the thing that Biscuit disables me is the Biscuit is inaccessible environment. Walking, Biscuit has always been a big Biscuit part of my life. Biscuit and going for walks was something that Biscuit I really enjoyed since I was a kid. Biscuit, one of the things that I found really difficult, Biscuit and really challenging, Biscuit as my mobility deteriorated, was not having that freedom to go and have a walk, was not being able to enjoy moving and Biscuit um, in the same way that I had done. And what having a wheelchair and having this wheelchair has done is it's given me back that freedom. Given the size of it, it impacts down to the size of the actual carbon fibre seat itself, um, which is very small. The, the, the rear wheel folds in flush with the back of the chair, um, the quick release for the main wheels that come off at the front. Um, so it's, it's very light to move, only, only nine kilos because it's all carbon fibre. It will pack into the boot of any, any car. You're not limited to, to an adapted car to, to go out in the chair. You can literally put it into the boot of pretty much any car.
it itself comes apart just as the same way as the, the K2 version does so again will fit into the boot in pretty much any car um, you don't need an adapted car to put the, the, the chair in so you can if you wanted to go out to, up to the pub or, or to a restaurant you can literally call, call a cab and it would fit into that cab no problem um, the, the only real difference between the K2 and the power chair is a small battery pack that, that clips underneath the actual seat itself the actual um, motors for the power chair are actually in the wheels themselves and that carries most of the weight so once you've taken the wheels off the chair again is only marginally heavier than a K2 easy enough for someone to lift into a car themselves Nate! 